I'm going to talk uh, today uh, first about our new telecommunications accelerator, uh, which is the springboard for helping our global partners call to really leverage all of Microsoft's technology in the best way possible and give them a platform to move forward with value add services. Many of you may already be familiar with any of our existing seven industry accelerators that already exist. Uh, and uh, as such, this is the eighth in a series of industry accelerators focusing now exclusively on the telecommunications industry. So I am very excited to be able to talk to you today about the work that we have done for this accelerator and also to excite you about what's coming so that we can work together to really uh, attack some of those opportunities with customers uh, around the world. Uh, as a reminder, the Industry Accelerator Program was born out of the Microsoft's Power Platform Engineering Team. Of course, this is the part of the company, and this is the part of the company that I work in, that brings you our Power Platform uh, that includes Power BI business analytic tools, Power Apps for application development, Power Automate for uh, process automation, and Power Virtual Agents to build uh, chatbots and other capabilities. As part of this power platform, uh, we include a ability to create data connectors to attach to third party data services, as well as all of the Microsoft internal uh, services, including Azure and uh, M365. We include an AI builder to be able to incorporate artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities into applications. And of course, our common data model. This common data model, which in the past, is very uh, been ex exclusively used by our Dynamics 365 CRM first party products was in past years extended or expanded to incorporate capabilities to uh, look at industry. We have done extensions of the common data model for the automotive industry, for the financial services industry, for the healthcare industry, for higher education, for nonprofit, et cetera, and so forth. Many of these uh, models have now launched themselves into the what you've recently read about industry clouds, which are Microsoft's new offering to really target industry in a really aggressive way. So this is the first time that we will have been endeavoring inside the telecommunications industry. And that's why I'm excited to be talking to you today about what we've done with the newest, which is the telecommunications accelerator. If you're not familiar with the accelerators program in its history, I won't use this time on this call to uh, walk you through what we do and how it works, but suffice it to say, our, our engineering team develops the common data model extension for industries. We build sample applications that utilize that common data model and really showcase the power and capabilities of our power platform. Our true goal, however, is to really power the independent software vendors around the world to enable them to really take advantage of all of the technology that's at play within Microsoft and help them better work with our global customer base as well as any system integrators that they choose to work with uh, outside. All of the output of our work is then published to Microsoft's app source and is available to any partner uh, really at no cost provided they're using our power platform technology. When we enter, when we work with our, our ISV partners, this is not a one way street. We very much are heavily influenced and take their feedback very seriously. So a, a partner such as ETI can work with us to say, hey, we have uh, you know, a need to build technology to service a set of applications or a set of challenges in the telecommunications industry. Could you build a data model? Could you build underlying technology? Could you help integrate Microsoft technology that gets us able to get out the door faster, hence the name, the Accelerator Program. So this is really a way for us to, you know, leverage the power of our partner ecosystem, but do it in a way where we're writing code and designing technology on behalf of our partners so they can get out the door and deploy faster. Uh, this has enabled us to do quite a lot of things as an engineering team that gets surfaced both to our partners, but also to you, our field sellers, because we are building uh, the schemas, we are building workflow and automation processes, we're building sample code, we're building demos, we're showcasing different scenarios that help you talk to customers and I, I, you know, really identify how Microsoft fills in the gaps from an industry perspective. 
we definitely believe, and I'm sure you've experienced that, you know, you can talk about Microsoft technology in a horizontal way, but when you go to talk vertically with, an, with a particular telecom operator or particular participant in this industry, it's always best to have specific customized solutions that fit the telecom space. And that's why we spend so much time working with our partners like ETI to say, what are you doing? What do you need? And allow us to help you by building a lot of the sample code that you could use and leverage Microsoft technology. We often act as a consultant and a sort of uh, springboard for inspiration. So with that, uh, last fall, we started work on the next and the newest accelerator in our portfolio, which is the telecommunications accelerator. Our goal, as always, is to showcase the power of our platform so that our partners can best take advantage of that. But specific to the telecom accelerator, we had some very other specific goals we wanted to achieve. One, we wanted to align with industry data standards uh, that might exist in the industry. And in this case, we've worked to specifically bring in uh, items from the TM Forum's open digital standard and framework to be able to have a data model that aligns with their uh, published works, of which Microsoft is a key member and participant. Secondly, we want to be able to offer our developers, our of our partners who are using the common data model, an extension that's specific to telco. So they don't have to necessarily recreate the wheel every time they want to go deploy. They have a model that can be easily used and easily licensed. Uh, that is specific to the telco industry and that would extend to all of Microsoft's technology. Again, I won't use this time to explain how the common data model works, but suffice it to say, by having a data entity in the common data model, you instantly inherit capabilities that Microsoft offers, such as integration with Teams, artificial intelligence, Power BI, Azure Storage, and all the other services that we have, of which there are approximately 250 connectors. We wanted to expand on the constructs that are specific to the telco industry in the areas of address management, in customer service, in field service, in subscriber lead management. And by doing this, we really believe strongly that having the accelerator present enables partners like ETI to build, for example, sales for telco, service for telco, uh, field service and, and tracking for telco, which really makes it more customized and specific to the industry, which is something that Microsoft has sort of been lacking in the past. Now we can truly have a, a real product combination between the Microsoft platform and our partner ecosystem.